Well, it's supposed to be big and hairy and scary, but could it be heading your way? It's the Everglades skunk ape, a legendary creature that looks like Bigfoot, part ape, part man. Now, new evidence from the nearby swamp, evidence so interesting, we put reporter John Dutzman on the case, and he joins us now with his special Halloween investigation. John? I'll tell you what, maybe I'm just a moron, guys, but I've lived here nine years, and I never heard of this skunk ape thing until recently. But I tell you what, one thing's for sure, there's definitely something going on out there. We're looking at the first video ever seen of something that looks like the Everglades skunk ape, South Florida's Bigfoot. The video taken some 50 miles west of Miami in the exact same area this still picture was taken back in July. In the same place, people claim to have seen the skunk ape in person. It looks like a big ape or something. The recent skunk ape sightings are the biggest thing to happen to the town of Ochapi since well, since the Ochapi post office. People here leave piles of lima beans, supposedly the skunk ape's favorite snack, hoping the beast will return. And with the possibility that this creature is in our backyard, the News 4 problem solvers start a skunk ape search like one never seen before. A lot of places to hide out there. I would say surely between six and seven feet tall, this thing. There's absolutely no doubt in my mind whatsoever that this thing exists. This is the unofficial Skunk Ape Research Center, a gift shop where you can see a display case featuring Skunk Ape footprints, Skunk Ape drawings, and the now famous Skunk Ape photo. And here's the man who took the picture. So when I seen it, it, it didn't scare me. On the way to work, a highly respected local fire chief spotted something strange in the swamp. He grabbed his camera, one he keeps in his truck to take pictures of car accidents. I wish now I probably could have run after and took some more pictures, but... The thing was more than a hundred yards away. At first, it's hard to make out. A brown blob, maybe an ape shape. Whatever it is, it's enough to... Hmm make one of the world's greatest skeptics say, hmm, a local animal expert say, hmm. Back in Ochapi, they're selling skunk ape t-shirts. We've had people come in here just uh, hysterical. Skunk ape hats, too. Well, they've seen something. They blew the horn at it. They hollered at it, and it just stood there. David now, Shealy, the man who owns the store with the skunk ape stuff, somebody. he swears he saw the beast some 20 years ago when he was a kid. Lots of people say they saw it back then. One of them is Mitch Bridges, the owner of Everglades Holiday Park. What the heck do you think you saw? Well, it had to have been a skunk ape. He swears he saw and smelled the real thing, taking a group of tourists on an airboat ride in the mid-70s. He had an odor like a similar to a skunk. Had a real bad odor. Kind of strange that witnesses say the modern version of the skunk ape does not smell, but many smell a hoax. Could it be this picture and all these skunk ape sightings are just someone in a costume? And what about this video? Well, the News 4 problem solvers went to work. We searched high using our high-tech helicopter. This is where they've been seeing it at. And my theory is it's going uh, north and south through this swamp. We searched low, so low we even had a manure sample a pile of possible skunk ape poo-poo analyzed. Helping us in the investigation, the best you can get. The amazing Randy, James Randy, a world-famous skeptic. His foundation in Fort Lauderdale investigates all kinds of weird stuff. It's not unlikely that there are unknown species, whether this is an example of one that is um, highly debatable. We also took the pictures to local animal expert Ron McGill. You probably know him from Metro Zoo. So either you have something that has never been described, or you have a prank. A prank? Could all this be a prank? Tomorrow we go on a dangerous overnight camping trip right in the Skunk Ape's backyard. Will we meet him face to face? You think Halloween's scary, kids? How would you like to camp out with this thing, huh? Anyway, we'll show you exactly what happened on our camping trip 
and you'll see a wild experiment that answers a lot of questions. That's tomorrow night at 11. Tell you, Campbell, when I was out there, by the way, camping, I heard this, <laughs> and it was our photographer, Tony Jerez, snoring. <laughs> it was, <laughs> you, 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 you really concern me sometimes, John, but um, you got me on my, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, John.